So while we wait for the people for the request for determination, let's pick, let's uh, go over the minutes. Did everybody or anybody review the minutes? Anybody have any corrections or? I did review them and they look fine. <clears throat> There you go. Good job, Andrew. Hey, man, I'll hit something and I'll figure it out. All right. So if there are no corrections or amendments, all in favor of accepting the minutes, say aye. 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 All right. First order of business taken care of. Um, I guess one other thing we can just talk about briefly while we wait for Alan to join us is, um, you know, I had sent to you some uh, revised language for zoning related to hazardous materials and solar batteries. And uh, then after that, uh, <clears throat> Judy wrote to me and said that they're really not going to move forward with it. And they didn't need Conservation Commission input unless we wanted to talk about it with her, in which case she'd be willing to come to a meeting and and discuss it. Uh, frankly, I haven't actually looked at it myself, but I just thought I would ask if anybody felt like you wanted to review it and talk about it with Judy, we can schedule her for next meeting. Uh, so I didn't wanna just sort of pull that rug out from under you, but you can let me know if you wanna, if you wanna put it on the agenda for next month. In part, so you're going to have, I guess, in case we have more solar fields in the bat, it's more on the solar fields and battery storage, if I remember reading it right, right? Yeah, I think she said they're going to go forward with that. And that I, I don't really fully understand her messages with something like, you know, the Attorney General's office will probably overrule if we decide to do something. So it doesn't matter whether it's in there or not. So, no. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I could ask her to come next month and, and just sort of discuss what their thinking was and just so that we're up to speed with that. Yeah, sure. 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 Yeah, get mm -hmm. it from there. All right. I'm going to check my email in case Alan's trying to reach me by email. So... No. Well, um, why don't we take up the issue anyway? We don't actually need the applicant to be here in order to discuss it and make a decision. Uh, all of you were at the site visit, so you think you have a pretty good idea of what's proposed. It's a simple uh, replacement of a septic tank. Uh, it's, uh, I, can't, I don't know if that's a perennial stream or not, but because, because it's a replacement, it wouldn't be, it's beyond a hundred feet from the, from the bank, so it wouldn't be something that we would regulate anyway. It's more that it's, uh, I guess, within the buffer zone. It doesn't look like it can go anywhere else, so um, I, I figured this is probably an easy one, but anybody have any comments about what's proposed? Straightforward. No, no, I don't. I think on the map it was called, called Potash Brook, so I think that is a perennial. Potash, okay. Mm -hmm. So um, then with that, um, I guess the, uh, the motion before us is to issue a negative determination of applicability without conditions. So all in favor of that, say aye, raise your hand. Aye. 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 Wave at the audience. <laughs> aye. All right, so that's taken care of as well. So Keith, I advertised your hearing for 710. So we have to sort of cool our jets for another three and a half minutes before we can start. Okay. As far as I know, Terry's gonna was said he was gonna attend. Okay. But if he doesn't, I I can narrate narrate myself through it, the project. Okay. I mean we can I can share screen for the electronic version of the plan if, if you don't have it handy. I don't. Yeah. Okay. Is the Hurley project, Keith, or? Yes. Okay. So I guess while we're uh, waiting, uh, is there any other business that we should talk about tonight? I know that we're sort of mixing everything up in the order that we normally do things, but. Um... No. Um. 
I guess, Ann, your project's going to come in next month, right? That's what it looks like, yeah. Okay. So we'll have some business next month to do. Which project is that in? Is that the silo or? Uh, no, no, we're trying to put a storage building behind the event barn. Ah. And it's uh, it's within the buffer zone, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it falls within the riverfront area, so yep. we have to do a an NOI. Um, I guess what I can report is that um, we did have the pre-construction meeting for the culvert replacement project uh, for the self storage uh, facility that's going in across from Tom's Hot Dog. So I was out there and I met with Todd and I met with uh, his contractor whose name was Teddy, but I can't remember his last name. Um, Keith, maybe you know him. I guess he's local. Um, I just know it was, it was Sovereign Built. No, not the- Yeah, Sovereign Builders. Sovereign Builders, that's the only thing I knew, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, we had a good conversation. We talked about you know how to do the water diversion and uh, I told him, to let me know when they were ready to go and that I would, you know, want to be able to observe while they were putting in the new culvert and the expectation that there would be an environmental monitor there at all times while they're, while they're doing that work. And uh, they suggested just burying the water pipe underneath the culvert rather than having it off to the side. It would reduce the footprint of the, of the alteration, which sounded fine to me. Uh, and uh, you know, it's just it was a good opportunity to say, you know, if anything happens, you give me a call right away. You know, just make sure that you're careful. Watch the weather forecast. If it's going to take, you know, a week to get it done, you want to look at the forecast a week out. And make sure there's no tropical storms coming up. Um, so I'm hopeful that it'll go smoothly. Um, it's a small little brook, so it shouldn't be too difficult unless, you know, some kind of a storm came up and overwhelmed it. There was a lot of water out there when we did the meeting. So <clears throat> it was, I think, a good time to have the meeting so that they, the contractor could see just how much water can be there at certain times of the year after there's plenty of rain or snow melt. Scott, are they planning on do, doing dewatering in the copper dams and dewatering? Yeah. Actually, they, they, they had talked about dewatering and, and then they thought, yeah, I think that's probably what they're going to do. But then, then they talked about maybe just running the water on one side and putting in the footings on the other side and then switching sides. So there may be some modification of that. But originally, it was going to be just piping it through. Um, I think it's still going to go through a pipe, but it's not going to be routed around. No. It's just going to go right through the bed while they work around it. I think the challenging part will be for them to go deeper to put the water main underneath because that sandy soil down there, they're going to be fighting. Yeah. Fighting that because that soil just moves so fast in that water. So hmm. we'll see. Yeah, and they're not going to be able to dry it out completely. I, I know they'll put in some sumps to try to, to pump out the groundwater from the it site. It just comes in as fast as we had all we could do to put water pipe in on Egypt Road, five feet down. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I'll, uh, I'll email Todd and let him know what your opinion is about that, that they better be it's, prepared. It's going to be just, it'll be a challenge. Mm. So will it be a challenge to bury the pipe in general, well, apparently that's what they were told they had to do is bury it so, so it would make sure it wouldn't freeze. Yeah, I mean, to get five feet of cover over the over their roadway isn't it be as bad as if by the time they go down to the bed of the stream and then try to go deeper with to put the water main underneath their footings so they're, they're reducing their footprint 
or versus going off to the side, but right. Yeah. All right. Well, um, why don't you share your screen and Terry's not, if yeah. he's not in the waiting room, I'll just go ahead and. All right, I'll do that. Yeah, I don't see anybody in the waiting room. I'll send them a text right now. Okay. You can give like an intro. Yep. Hopefully it gets gets to us. Otherwise you can explain it. You just have to tell me which which yeah, one you want. Not, to... um, not not that sheet. That's the one. Okay. If you need me to go zoom in or zoom out, let me know. You know, it's basically just to, to give you an, an oversight, the the original intent. When we first had the, you know, the, the media concom meeting previously and so forth was to do permeable pavement. In other words, the water would just leach through the blacktop. It's porous pavement, pavement, and it lets the water just the stormwater leach through and go to the soils underneath. Well, in the by the time we got estimates on having it built based on the amount of um, money we had to work with, there was just no way we could we could do that. So I went back to Terry and said, we need to come up with another alternative. And so this alternative basically is just still going to have the parking lot graded and sloped away from the river front and the embankment. And it'll still be um, all shedding towards the towards the field, the ball fields. And the only difference is now it'll be non-porous pavement, which is your traditional hot mix asphalt. And there will be three catch basins put in, which are the, the three circles farthest towards the where the row of pine trees are. Yeah, right there, those three. And then there'll be a um, an oil water separator, which is going to be made out of a 1500 gallon septic tank with a two, two compartment tank, which will, um, if any oils flow in, they'll stay there. And also any um, debris such as, you know, trash or litter would, would stay in that and it would not go into the second chamber, which that second chamber, which would then discharge into the proposed subsurface um, leach system, which is going to be um, nothing more than a series of rows of their arched plastic, they're called storm tech chambers. Um, they're, they're used a lot in septic systems. Um, basically, that's all this is, is, is a, in a sense, it's a glorified septic system to take storm water and get it into the into the soils below and this and certainly down here the soils are so sandy that once you once the water gets into those sandy soils they'll they'll just dissipate and so that's it in a nutshell nothing is really changing the um everything else all the grades everything that this is all the same Hi, Terry. Hi, how are you? Um, Keith just gave us an overview and then described the, the stormwater system. I don't know if you want to add anything to it. Um, well, you know, ba basically, you know, we went from the pervious pavement to a subsurface system, um, essentially doing the very similar thing. Um, a couple adjustments uh, up with, uh, you know, putting in the catch basins, obviously, um, so that 
basically the system's designed to infiltrate generally up through the 10 year event. Um, and then for a major hundred year event or something like that, it, the, the grading is designed so that it can overflow out into the playing fields. Uh, but generally the function is essentially the same as, as previously designed. Now the oil um, separator and trash separator, is that something that gets cleaned out periodically? That'll need to be cleaned periodically, yes. Yep. Um, I would expect Keith won't have to do a lot with it um, since we're really not salting and sanding in that area. Um, so, you know, the, the catch basins are deep sump catch basins and hooded. So there's going to be really very little material that gets into that. Um, so it, it should be, should be minimal maintenance needed on it. Will there be a manhole or something that you use to get access to that? Yes. yes. It, it'll have, it's, it's going to be an H20 you know, rated structure. So it's designed so that vehicles can drive over it. It'll have um, three manholes on it so that it can be cleaned out and inspected. Right. And uh, I forgot to mention, but this is a public hearing for a request for an amended order of conditions, which will allow this substitute plan to go in as the plan of record. And <clears throat> So I just wanted to, to verify that other than this, the, the, the change about the pavement type and this new infiltration system, the footprint is the same as it was for the original plans? Yes, it is. Okay. Questions, commissioners, comments? No, I'm all set. I'm set too. You answered my. You asked the same question I was going to ask Scott. So. Yeah, I'm good. I'm fine too. Yeah. So the way I look at it is that it was originally proposed to infiltrate all of the storm water it, for a reasonable storm, but then anything above and beyond that, that, what could be handled by the pervious pavement, would then be shed off towards the playing fields. What's proposed now is essentially the same function, is infiltrating water up to a certain storm size and then shedding that water towards the playing field. So I don't see any real difference in the storm water. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it seems to me like it's a design that, that will be easily maintained. So I, I don't see a problem with this either. Um, so any last comments or questions before we go to a vote? No, no. All right. So the first vote is to close the public hearing. All in favor? Aye. 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 And second vote is to you know issue an amended order of conditions that references this plan. Um, the question is, would anybody like to propose any special conditions? My I believe that the original order of conditions that we issued did not have any special conditions. All right, hearing none. <laughs> uh, so essentially what we're voting to do is re reissue the very same order of conditions, except it will say amended on it and it will have a reference to the new plan rather than the old plan. All right, all in favor, say aye. 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 All right, that's done. Um, so I will um, I will prepare the amended order. And Keith, do you have a box at the town offices? I can't remember. Yes, yes, I do. Okay, so I'll just put it in your box tomorrow. So we'll consider that hand delivered. Um, okay, that works for me. Terry, do you want a copy of the order? The amended order of electronic. Uh, if, if you could send me an electronic, that'd be great. Okay. Yeah. All right. Put it up. All right. Well, that was Thank easy. you. No problem. Good Thank luck you. With it. All right. Good. So um, we already were treading water for a little while trying to 
figure out what to talk about. So I assume we're pretty much at the end of our agenda. Did anybody think up anything else that we should talk about before we adjourn? Nope. 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 <laughs> we're pretty quiet. Spring is upon us. They'll get busier. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, um, let me stop sharing. It's nice to have a short meeting every now and then. We'll see what how lucky we get next month. Thanks for showing up, everybody. We'll see you next month. Thank okay. you. Night. 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 Night.